welcomed the state of origin rugby league Queensland versus New South Wales for the first time from the new football stadium here in Sydney. Now that's going to be an unnerving experience for the Queenslanders, for in the past the first match has always been played at Brisbane's Lang Park in front of those parochial banana vendors where they've won eight from 14 matches. Surprisingly though, the series overall stands at Queensland 11, New South Wales 10. In Sydney, both sides are even at 3-all. So tonight's game could be the series leveller. Every state of origin match has uncovered new personalities. Tonight, let's look to the big men up front. Making his debut, Sam Bacco, the 17-stone giant who has patiently waited for his chance at the big time. His opponent, the game's informed prop, the fearless Steve Roach, a nine-time veteran. The little men will also dominate the cunning and guile of the world's number one, Peter Sterling, against his possible heir apparent, Alan Langer, who may feel a little lonely without King Wally outside him. Standing rear guard, two of the game's best fullbacks. The brilliant running Gary Belcher, out to impress a winner place in the Australian team, up against the diminutive but explosive Jonathan Docking, who had his first big moment last year at Long Beach, California. A player brought to prominence by this man, my co-commentator, Jack Gibson. Well, Jack, he is a mighty little player. Well, he'll get the job done, for sure. He's had a pretty smart game in the United States when he played there, and he's had a fine season. He's been dying to have a crack at Gary Belcher also. Well, I, I don't know if I'm going to agree with that. I think Belcher's the problem. I think his own game is going to be the problem. He certainly doesn't want to embarrass himself out there tonight, and he's proven for the last four or five years that's not going to happen. We've talked about the big men. We've talked about the little men. How do you see it? Well, I think Queensland. I don't know why, but I've, it's no good sitting there on the fence. I think Queensland get the job done. The main reason I say that... I think with Wally Lewis out, I think it'll allow Langer to do his thing. I think he's been domineered a little bit by Wally. Not that I'm saying that's wrong. But I think he'll be activated a lot better and he'll take the role of uh, more so in offence than any other player in Queensland. All right, Jack, thanks for your comments. We look forward to uh, your famous comments right throughout the call. Now, another man that really is one of the most famous players of modern times. He could read the game in defence. He was certainly brilliant in attack. And he joins us now for the first time tonight in the Nines. Why will of uh, sports commentary team, Mick Crater. Nice to have you along with us. Nice to be here, Daryl. Now, this centre pairing from both New South Wales and Queensland, I find that very interesting. As a former centre, how do you read them? Well, it probably looks like the classic centre pairing of a strong man with a fast man outside him. But really, I think one effect the centres have on the game at there tonight will depend on the men inside them. So that will probably control their performance. Mick, we've also had a lot of light rain today, but it's been pretty consistent. Although the ground's very well drained and it's quite dry, it is pretty slippery. Well, I watched a bit of the under-19 game earlier, and I really don't, I don't think that'll have an effect on the game. I think what rain's fallen, I think the ground can handle it. So really, I think it'll be dry weather tactics. Well, thanks, Mick, for your comments. We'll look forward to uh, what your thoughts are from the sideline too, looking at the game from your point of view. OK, that's about it. We're all set up, just about ready for kickoff. We'll be back with the first match, the Winfield State of Origin for 1988, right after the break. Well, out uh, both sides, out on the field now, here at the new Sydney Stadium, and what a sight it is too. The Queensland colours. Queensland colours fly tonight. There he is, the big fella, Martin Bella. Plenty big, plenty tough as Bella. Captain of New South Wales, Wayne Pearce, G'd up as usual, looking pretty intense. And here's the card now for New South Wales. Fullback Jonathan Docking, the centres Brian uh, Johnston and Andrew Eddinghausen. Then we have Mark McGaw, Michael O'Connor, Cliff Lyons at five off. We've got Peter Sterling at halfback, Wayne Pearce, the captain of the side at lock, Noel Cleal and folks in the second row. And the big men up front, Steve Roach, Roy Simmons and Les Davidson. The coach, Johnny Pearce. Wally Fullerton and Smith, there's the captain, Paul Vorden. Let's have a look at the full side now. And fullback is Gary Belcher. On the wings, we've got Alan McIndoe and Joe Kilroy. The centres are Tony Curry and Gene Miles. 5'8", Peter Jackson, that vital spot tonight in Wally Lewis's number six jumper. We've got Alan Langer at halfback. Paul Vorton, the captain of the side at lock. Bob Linder in the second row with Wally Fullerton Smith making a return to the Queensland side. Up front, the real big tough men, Sam Bacco, Martin Bella, and the hooker, Greg Kineski. The coach, Wayne Bennett. Sam Bacco looking pretty intense, having his first taste of State of Origin football. And the Nash 
national anthem is over now. Everybody starts to leave the ground, everything's set. The referee, that controversial figure from Queensland, Barry Gomesall, ninth origin match. And we're just about set now. Gomesall gets both sides ready.